Okay, so in my last video, I was checking out Ultra Male by Jean-Paul Gaultier. And at this time, I was looking for spicy scents, something that would complement, but also something that would add some depth. And I had some leather scents and I was interested in adding spice to my scents and fruity notes to the leather scents. And overall, I'd get something a little bit well round, a little bit more well rounded, let's say. And the new perfumes I'm checking out are Lalique Paul Homme Equest, which is the horse. Now, this is a woody, spicy juniper berry fragrance as well. So, this has juniper berry, mace, nutmeg, cinnamon and sequoia wood note with a little bit of it's like a like a fur like a fur like pine needles it's uh foresty it's cinnamon it's spicy i'm just gonna spray this this is quite a strong perfume because it's got nace mace in it sorry and mace is if you've ever been sprayed in the eyes, it really hurts. Uh, police enforcement have that. And I originally, I bought this thinking that it would be masculine, spicy. <clears throat> Sorry. I bought this thinking it would be masculine, fresh, spicy, and have a sweetness of the juniper berry which would really nicely clash against some woods and i wasn't really wrong when you smell this off the top you get a lot of mace and a lot of spice but when you spray it it's a very sharp spice because of the mace looking at the notes oh sorry looking at the notes over here I can see that although you get a very nice bright opening with the bergamot, lemon and citron in the top note, it very quickly becomes spicy and the transitional note is the juniper. Now this isn't really, this isn't really the juniper berry, but it's more of the green twig leaf waxy smell so it's a green waxy leaf smell so it's the branches of the juniper now juniper berries are sweet a little bit uh, acidic almost like an acai berry like you would imagine a blueberry um a blueberry a sweet yet green blueberry kind of vibe uh almost like a grape between a blueberry and a grape in the sweet and sourness of it but this is that sweet and sour mixed with the greenery of the leaf so it hasn't got so much sweetness but it has got the green bitter notes of it not so much bitter but waxy so the juniper in the middle mixes with the cardamom and violet leaf to produce uh, sweetness in the middle which is clashed by the spiciness of Brazilian redwood and mace. Now, I was always saying that mace is very strong and I say it's a very double-edged sword. The mace, Brazilian redwood and the base note of sequoia wood, they form something spicy, unique, but a little bit too spicy with the mace. Because they already have nutmeg and to add mace was a bit much, but it does give it some uniqueness. So you've got the bright top notes of bergamot, lemon and citron. Then you've got the waxy green note of juniper branch with some sweet cardamom and floral violet. Violet is very close to iris in the in the family of flowers but it's slightly 
lighter and less defined as iris. Iris is a very crisp and defined sweet note, but the violet is more of a plethora of floral flavors. So the base notes are sequoia, vetiver, leather, benzoin, amiris, and musk. Now, the wood stands out the most. Slight leather notes. Uh, the vetiver is grassy and light. It doesn't come off as dark or, or like tobacco. It comes more like dry straw or hay. And it gives you a sort of walk in the forest kind of feel. A lot of people in the reviews will say it feels like walking through the forest simply because you get the waxiness of the green juniper and the wood notes of the sequoia and the grassy notes of the vetiver. So this is nice, but I would say go light with the sprays because the longevity of this, you can smell it. You can smell it from about medium ciliage, about uh, an arm's arm away from me for about I'd say projects for about three hours after that it's a spicy middle skin scent so like from here yeah you do actually have to smell it like I am I am about I'm about a foot away from my hand so it dries down to a foot and a foot away skin scent basically after the first three to four hours and then the rest of it would be it stays as a skin scent for much longer than it does projecting uh, it stays for I'd say about three hours more three to four hours more simply because the spiciness of the mace really stays and what I would not like what I don't like about this scent is the fact that you get that spiciness but it stays for way too long it's not really mixed well with the, the woods it is mixed well with the woods in the beginning but it becomes too much when all the other notes fade to the back and all you're left with is Well, you got that mace, cardamom, juniper berry, juniper, waxy leaf and branch. So juniper, branch, pettigrain is like broken twig, a broken twig, sort of fresh twig scent that they use in summer. But this is like a winter scent. I'd say it's a winter and fall scent. And it has a nice spicy uniqueness about it. But I would say there are a lot better day-to-day -day fragrances. This is a day-to-day -day fragrance. I'd say for me, it's a little bit too mature. Uh, I like something a little bit more playful. It's nice with the spiciness. It's unique, but I would not keep it in my rotation every single day just because the mace can become a bit too much and it's not as versatile when I mix it with other scents. So that is Equest Pour Homme by Lalique, the same people that gave you uh, Lalique and Cray Noir and all of these other perfumes that are so highly rated, I would say that they have a nice mature vibe to it but they're not that great in terms of being uh, crowd pleasing and uh, long lasting in noticeable way or okay they're not play and they're not that playful they're a bit too mature you can wear it in the office place I would say this is a great uh, I'm not knocking it but it's a great dad scent it gives a air of reliability that sort of light spiciness which is warm yet it's not offensive 
And I would say this is a, this is a great everyday scent, but I've just got so many other scents that I'd rather pick over this. Um, but I'd say if you want something and you're in your thirties, you want something cheap. This is a this is twenty seven pound, and this is Eau de Parfum seventy five mil. So uh, check it out if you like something spicy and more woody. I'm not so into the woody scents, and that's probably why I shy away from it on a daily basis. But Yeah, I'm getting the sequoia wood, a little bit of cardamom, waxy leaf, and mace. The leather doesn't come on too much. The benzoin is supposed to be very vanilla-like, but I don't get that. So, whatever. Not getting a lot of leather, benzoin, amorous, and a little bit of that musk. That musk ends it. So, check it out. Uh, I would like to try before I buy, but with this, I couldn't find it anywhere in the shop, so I just blind bought it. And it was pretty good, but not the best everyday scent. The next one I'm going to check out is Saruti Image. Now, this is a fruity scent that I wanted for mixing. If you want some, this has fig, banana leaf, uh, bamboo. Bamboo, plum, and I'm going to have to spray this on because I really like the fruitiness of it. In terms of spray, it comes with a, this is it's like an old school well or something, like you have to do that and sort of pump it to get the well water up. So this is a very, it's quite true to the bottle. <clears throat> Sorry, I smell it and it went kind of deep. Uh, I'm doing quite well today, actually. I had a bad voice in the beginning of the day, so staying strong for you guys. Uh, so I get banana leaf, plum. The fig is nice in the middle. It's a rounded fig. Like I have, I've got many experience of eating fig, and I remember... Once I had the dry fig, the dry fig uh, was given a whole bag of it. I don't know why they snuck it through the airport just to get some fig, whatever. So we had a whole bag of dry fig and I know there's a sweetness to it, but when we bought the fig fresh and it was still quite juicy, um, it has a different flavor to it. Less sweet. It's still got that sweetness and a juiciness to it, which it doesn't have with the um, dry fig, but it almost has that avocado skin, uh, mildly natural fat kind of smell. Natural fat, like like avocado, avocado, the pulp, but more the skin, which is slightly more bitter and waxy. Waxy, sweet, juicy. Not so much fresh, but it really goes well with the plum. So I like this as a sort of aqua summer mixer. What I do is I'd get a winter scent like K by Dolce Gabbana, which already has fig uh, mixed with some cardamom and some more woody deep notes. And this has fig in it and banana leaf and plum. So I would complement the notes. I'd spray this with K and this would give a summer fresh, slightly aquatic vibe to a fruity winter scent. So if you've already got fruit in your winter scent and you want to make this a bit more fresh, add some Saruti image. But the reason why I say it's a mixer scent rather than a full-on scent on its own <coughs> is because the longevity is not very good. Longevity on this, I'm getting good longevity on my clothes. I get probably about five hours maximum, but that's not very good in general because longevity on clothes is always more than on skin. So uh, five hours longevity 
uh, this projects for about three hours I'd say and starts to become a skin scent on the fourth or fifth hour uh, and then after being a skin scent it lasts about another two hours so I'd say seven hours in total before it's completely gone but uh, five four five hours before three four hours before it starts to dry down and it doesn't really smell as projecting as you would like in the winter let's say this is a harsh score for the winter but in the summer i would imagine you get another two hours of projection of this so five out four hours uh projection three to four hours projection and three hours on the skin three extra hours on the skin and in terms of projection on the clothes, I'd say five hours, which is two hours less. So, uh, oh, wow. I still got that ultra male on this uh, arm because I was just doing ultra male before. The spiciness is still there from the Equest, but this is why I really like the fruity mixer because if this is spicy, I could add this as such a random dumb reach um, and it's okay it's not terrible but your mixer scent for advice is <clears throat> your mixer scent is something that lasts a little bit less than your main scent uh, but it's great for top up it lasts on your clothes and it complements so it lasts well in your clothes it lasts a little bit less than the main scent because you don't want to clash and at the end of the day it should be complementing the notes that you already have in the original perfume that you want to mix with so uh, an aquatic fresh scent that I really love in whenever you smell it it makes you feel happy and refreshed almost like you're on a sort of beach holiday this is that sort of vibe that when you're on a holiday, you wake up and you're in your hotel room getting dressed or whatever. And you're thinking, I'm going to have such a great day. There's so much outside to look forward to. Um, there's like a fresh breeze. It's summer. I mean, banana leaf in some sort of tropical. The banana leaf almost has a bamboo effect. I said those bamboo in here, but I'm not sure on the notes about bamboo. But it, the banana leaf has a sort of um, bamboo, sweet, sweet rice and bamboo note, which is great. <clears throat> I bought this. All in all, for scent, I would give this, because of its uniqueness, uh, I like unique scents, I like the freshness of it, how it makes me feel. In terms of a scent, I'd give it... I'd give it 7 out of 10, just because it's better than most in the freshness it delivers. Uh, but the longevity brings down the overall score. Uh, longevity is a weak point for this but this is a summer scent so they aren't really expected to uh, in the heat they're expected to last but generally summer scents because they already have so much heat to activate them they are not uh, overwhelmingly strong like if you were a winter scent that activates in low heat and you had a lot of heat it would be overwhelming to wear a winter scent in the summer so generally, summer scents are quite light. So I would say that this is a great mixer scent, but this is another scent that is not really in my rotation, it's more because it's winter coming, and although I like to add a summery vibe, I do that in the transitional months when it's getting from hot to cold or cold to hot. I add something from the previous season, to help transition and make it a little bit easier this is very strong uh, let me know what you think about the lion version of this because i was going to get the lion version but just to be original and to be a rebel 
I decided to get the horse simply because it's not tried as much and I wanted to give a review on it because yeah um I thought it was original check it out uh but this is 30 plus I'd say a bit of a dad scent um it's not boring it's unique but it's a bit too mature for me this one is more my type I quite miss this when I leave this in this house and go somewhere else <clears throat> simply because it's it's a very good vibe scent you get the grapefruit you get the plum you get the fig in the middle you get oh grapefruit plum fig banana leaf because there's that almost rice and bamboo vibe and and musk of course so it's a very light fresh scent so check it out if you want something for the summer for a holiday this is a great fresh happy good vibe scent and well hopefully you can go holiday soon but uh enough about that <clears throat> Have a great day. Uh, you should stay tuned because there are a lot more perfumes coming in. When I was, you know, down with this and I wasn't going out, whatever, I was ordering a lot of perfumes. I'd say these two were sort of just about same time when I just got this uh, eye problem, whatever. And I ordered a lot more, including the Ultra Male and things that are coming is uh, Prada Luna Rossa we also have the Prada Amber Pour Homme which I'm really looking forward to and the last one that I just got is Y Eau de Parfum which I was lucky enough to get this uh, three payment scheme whatever um, to get the deal in good time through PayPal I paid it through three payments which means I could pay through last month and uh, the next month uh, it's a new service which is quite good that it's being dished out to everybody or maybe people who just pay right but uh, it was £80 for Y Eau de Parfum and I'm really looking forward to that simply because that has that sort of Versace Eros apple note yet it also has spiciness from the frankincense and in the middle it really makes the most of sage which seems like a boring note uh, it seems just herbal fresh breath of fresh air but when you mix um, sage with all the other notes that you have there you create something quite unique fresh a little bit spicy so I'm looking forward to why Eau de Parfum last time I tested it was before the lockdown so see if my nose has failed me <laughs> or has served me well and i'm glad to be back i'm thankful that you guys are watching because it makes it a bit more interesting you know i would do this myself but uh it's great to share my love of perfume simply because it brings so much joy into my life it could bring something into yours and if you find something new and interesting tell me about it tell me about the perfumes that you like and there's lots more things coming so don't forget to subscribe or comment if you like this channel or the content that's coming out also and you think i missed out on anything uh, also let me know because i'm always trying to improve on my videos and give you original and interesting content so let me know and until then stay fresh take care guys